So I'm here tonight with a volunteer who was interested in um, dental infections and looking for dental infections. So she, uh, my understanding, I just met her about 10, 15 minutes ago, and she has had a couple of teeth extracted. She's had her, all of her wisdom teeth extracted, as well as um, one here, one here, and one up here. Um, so three teeth extracted, as well as the wisdom teeth, and when she had number 15 extracted, I think is when she said she felt like her health had started to decline a little bit and she wasn't feeling as, as well. So she's suspicious, I think, of number 15. Um, but while we're here, we'll just kind of go through all of the teeth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her hold on the outside um, her teeth and I'm going to test her strength relative to her baseline strength. And, um, and then I'm going to look for weakness in her, um, it, when she touches a specific area, I'm going to look for weakness and, um, and then I'll go from there. I'll see, okay, that's, a, that's weak, and then we'll try to figure out if it's infected or not. Um, if, if she's testing the same on all of the teeth area and I can't find an infection um, just from touching on the outside, I have some gloves here on the table and I maybe ask her to put on a glove or something and go inside of her mouth and touch um, the various areas inside of her mouth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to test her baseline. So she's going to hold her thumb and her ring finger together and I'm just going to see kind of, I haven't really worked with her before, so I'm going to see how, where she's at in terms of strength of pulling these apart. So one, two, three, hold. She's pretty strong there, but I can get them a little bit apart. And then I'm going to just touch on her temple because that's usually a very strong place for most people. So I'm just going to kind of get a sense of where she is. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, pretty strong on the temple as well. And in order to get rid of any other stressors that might be going on with her right now, I'm going to um, have her hold in the areas of the teeth. And that basically tries to um, channel her, her thoughts and her energy to that tooth. And that allows me better to test her tooth and not some other stress she may have had today, earlier today, um, who knows, Maybe she ate something she was allergic to or had some unusual stress, I don't know. So to get rid of that variable, I try to just have her hold the tooth and, like I said, maybe even inside the mouth so that we are trying to test the tooth and not her overall state right now. So I'm going to have you hold the first tooth. I, that, the upper, that's the upper um, extracted tooth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what I'm going to ask you to do is really go kind of above the tooth on the onto the where the root would be, like on the um, upper above the tooth, and hold there. I'm going to ask you to hold one, two, three, hold. Actually, pretty strong on that one. Move back to that um, wisdom tooth in the back there, where the wisdom tooth uh, used to be. Um, up back, kind of above the tooth where the root would have been. One, two, three, hold. Pretty strong there as well. Now move down to the bottom, um, but let's go for the wisdom tooth there. Yeah, one, two, three, hold. A little bit weaker there, so that's a suspicion. And then you've got an extracted tooth, right, on that side, number there. right there. Okay, mm -hmm. and hold again, like a little bit below where the tooth um, was. One, two, three, hold. Yes, super weak there. So that's that. That would say that's definitely something going on in there. Um, and where's your next one? Let's see. Over, over in there. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Hold. Actually, not too bad there. Pretty strong. And move back to the wisdom tooth in the back there. Um, number, uh, number. I guess it's what number 32 back to back in there. One, two, three. Hold. A little bit weak. I'm gonna do that one again. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, a little. I'm 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 a little suspicious of that, but not as much as I am of uh, of, of down here. Mm -hmm. uh, move to the top. Uh, wisdom tooth. Yep. Okay. One, two, three, hold. Hmm. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, hold. Let's um. Hold now in the front where we don't, maybe not right on the midline, but right next to the midline. There we go. One, two, three, hold. I just want to get a sense. Yeah, she's pretty strong in there. Now go back to that um, back wisdom tooth. One, two, three, hold. 
yeah, that's suspicious in there as well. So I'm, I'm getting suspicion here, here, and definitely here. Um, the other thing I want to mention when she started getting towards the midline, what I was doing there is just trying to test a tooth that's probably doing okay, just to, again, relative to each other, just to compare this tooth to back in here so I can see um, what a healthy tooth looks like for her or a tooth that we're, we think is healthy um, compared to that um, back um, cavitation site. So um, the next thing I'm going to do, because I, I don't think I need to have her go in her mouth or put on a glove because I definitely get weakness here, here, and here. Um, these could be two possibilities as I see it or that I'm aware of. One is that it's infected. That's the most likely possibility. That's why she came here and volunteered. Um, the second possibility would be that it's some kind of an osteopathic problem. Maybe her bones, when they came together, they're twisted or, um, you know, your head's like a 22-piece puzzle. Maybe one of the pieces is, is misaligned, and so there might be some uh, structural problems in there. Um, seems pretty unlikely based on what she's telling me, but you never know. So um, to sort all of that out, I'm going to have her hold these antibiotics um, on her tooth area. So she's going to put the antibiotics on the various area and just hold the bottle against her mouth. This one here is amoxicillin. This is my first guess. There's just a couple of pills in here. Um, amoxicillin is usually pretty good at dental infections. So um, what I'm looking for is that um, when she holds the bottle relative to when she puts it down, um, when she puts it down and just holds the tooth, I know she was weak in those areas, and now I'm going to have her hold the bottle, and I'm going to see if she's strong now or stronger. And that will tell me that this amoxicillin would actually um, be helpful for that area to make it strong. Now, the problem with amoxicillin is that if you take oral amoxicillin, it's not going to actually get to that area because there's not much blood flow. There's usually um, cavitations there and, and jawbone and things, and so the blood doesn't really get there, so the antibiotic doesn't really get there. But for testing purposes, I find it's pretty useful um, to help me figure out if it's actually an infection or not. So um, I'm going to have you first um, go back to this. I, I didn't, uh, number 15 on the bottom here, I'm going to have you go to that first without the bottle, just because I was getting a lot of weakness there. I want to start with that one and kind of, again, kind of below where the tooth was. So one, two, three, hold. Yeah, super weak. And I'm going to take the bottle, put the bottle kind of right on there. One, two, three, hold. Still pretty weak, actually. One, two, three, hold. Okay, try without the bottle again. One. Oh, wait, okay. There you go. One, two, three, hold. I think it's a little bit stronger with the bottle. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, she's a little bit stronger with the bottle. She's still weak, but she's still a little stronger with the bottle, I think, on that one. Let's go to, um, over to here. Um, let's, pu let's put it on the, um, the bottom one that was, yep. Yeah, right in there. One, two, three, hold. Yes, yeah, super strong now there. Let's try without the bottle and just hold that same area. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, so she's definitely much stronger with the bottle um, there. And then we had the upper on this side. So let's hold in the upper on this side. Let me just test that again. One, two, three, hold. Okay, and let's try with the bottle. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, the bottle helps, a, the amoxicillin is helping a little bit there too. Um, seems to really help here and not quite as much here as I had hoped. I'm going to try the, um, I have another sulfa antibiotic here. Again, just the same uh, thing with a couple of pills in here. So I'm going to have you hold that on number 15, the one on this side, because that was the one that I'm most worried about. So, yep, down in there. One, two, three, hold. Okay, try without the bottle now without the um just hold in that area on the bottom on the lower the lower yeah one two three hold now try with the sulfa in the same place one two three hold yeah okay much stronger with that okay so whatever infection she has i'm getting that it's actually re um the sulfa is actually treating it um, sulfa antibiotic is actually treating it better than the amoxicillin, which is surprising. That's the first time I've seen that. But um, but both of these are often um, can be used for dental infections, spirochite infections. So um, the next thing I'm going to try, because I'm pretty sure it's an infection, 
I'm going to try my trusty ozonator here, um, my fruit and vegetable washer. And I don't want to blast this in her face, so I'm going to turn it on um, just for a couple minutes, or just for a little bit here, just to get some ozone going in this tube. And I'm going to then have her hold that on her tooth area. Um, my preferred method of treatment for um, for dental infections is ozone injection. So this will just kind of give us a sense of um, of how well the ozone will work if she does decide to try it. So now I'm going to unplug it. And I'm going to have you hold this on number 15 down there. There you go. And your fingers again. Okay, let me see your fingers. Um, there we go. One, two, three, hold. Oh, pretty strong with that. One more time. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, I can't even get her apart. Okay, let's try holding number 15 again. Okay, one, two, three, hold. Yeah, she's definitely stronger with the ozone. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, super strong with the ozone. So that's good. That means the ozone treatment um, hopefully would help her um, feel better. I just tested only on the number 15 site. Um, I'm also, like I said, suspicious of here and here as well. Um, so, it you know, this is not medical advice, but if it were me, I would tend to go for ozone injections and see if you feel better. Um, I would definitely go for number 15 first, or go for them all if you want to, it's kind of up to you, but I think you'll get the most bang for your buck if you go for number 15, because that's the one I'm testing is the weakest, and is testing really well in the ozone. Um, so just to be complete here, I also want to um, talk a little bit about some of the dental osteopathic issues. So I'm just going to um, test really quickly her midline. So I want you to hold your fingers together and I'm just going to feel along her cranial midline here and just get a sense of, um, you know, how, how is her cranial structure functioning? Um, is there a major problem there or not? So I'm just going to feel here. One, two, three, hold. Oh, actually really strong. That's awesome. Okay, so hold one more time and I'm going to check the midline in the dental area. So I'm just going to put my finger right here. One, two, three, hold. Again, super strong. So that's awesome. I'm not seeing any osteop osteopathic issues in the midline. Um, the next thing I want to test with her is I just want to test her bite. Sometimes in um, with uh, structural problems in the cranium, if we add depth to the bite, um, they say depth heals, and I've seen over and over on myself included um, that if I if I increase the height of my bite, I actually feel better and I get and I get stronger. So I'm just gonna try that out with her since she's here um, to to look at dental issues. We're just gonna look at that really quick. So I'm gonna ask you to hold your fingers, and I'm just gonna test your um, baseline here. One, two, three, hold. She's testing pretty strong after that ozone. I think you really like that. And then I'm going to ask you, these are just four, four or five popsicle sticks that I taped together uh, with medical tape. And I'm just going to ask you to open your mouth and bite on it. And just bite down. There you go. And now one, two, three, hold. One more time. One, two, three, hold. Okay, now I'm going to take it out and bite down. Not super hard, just, just do a nice bite. One, two, three, hold. Oh, cool. So she's actually testing weaker with this than she is without it, which is really cool. It means that I don't see any um, problems in the midline, and I actually don't see any problems um, with a bite. I'm assuming you don't have any TMJ problems. Um, or I think I presumed I, I went and someone said, your bite's too back, and so I forced myself to put it forward, and since then it's been gone. Okay, yeah, I don't see any evidence of any kind of um, cranial or, or um, osteopathic um, major problems here. I'm not an osteopath or anything like that, but I'm just looking for, you know, major problems that could be affecting her dental area. So if she does have, you know, a problem with her midline or a twist in one of her bones or something weird like that, it could just make her more prone naturally to infection. So I just want to check out a few basic things here to make sure that her structure is functioning um, at least to first order uh, correctly. So that hopefully if we just um, take care of some of those infections, um, she'll feel better. So 
Um, so that concludes our dental work for today. Do you have any questions? Um, well, actually, this is fascinating. Um, my biggest question is um, the ozone injections. Is it with the needle and a syringe and mm -hmm. injected? Yes. Yeah, so in your case, actually, you um, for for number. I'm going to focus on number 15, but this goes for all of them. She doesn't have a tooth there, right? You've just got an empty hole. Mm -hmm. um, so in that case. I'm, again, I'm not a dentist and I'm not an oral surgeon, but I think what they can do is that they can just go straight down in that hole and um, probably they'll drill, because I'm assuming you've, you're, it's been extracted long enough that you've formed some bone in there. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe if you haven't formed any bone, maybe they won't even have to drill. Maybe they can just stick the needle down in there. So that usually they'll make you numb first, then they'll either drill or stick the needle just straight down in there, and then they'll um, take a syringe of, of ozone gas and they'll inject it. Okay. And um, if you had a tooth there, then what they would do is they would drill into the bone they would take x-rays and then figure out where, try to see on the x-ray where the pocket might be, if there's any pocket at all to be seen. And then they will drill um, in that area and um, through the bone and put in a tap and then they'll inject the ozone gas um, into that area. Uh, my experience with ozone injections is that they are pretty painful. They do numb you but the gas you know goes in and it creates pressure and it kills off infection sometimes you can get a herx reaction from that or a die off reaction from that so you you may want to take you know drink lots of water and take some charcoal maybe or things like that um, but even with the numbing medication it usually is still somewhat painful um, i had all four of mine done and i and i thought it was um it was painful Okay. Good but um, but you know a relatively um, cheap and easy solution. I mean, uh, rel you know, relative to what it could be. Um, yes. And usually, I found that after just even one or two injections, I was feeling much better. Mm -hmm. Not that the infection was completely gone, but I've seen this uh, now a couple times with a couple of different people. Again, not a large sample size but that just even after one or two injections, people are feeling much better, mm. so. That's wonderful. Well, I'm really grateful that you took the time to do this. This work has been very enlightening.